Why asteroid mining is so hard? Asteroid mining could unlock trillions in metals, but it's one of the hardest engineering challenges ever. In microgravity, there's no weight, so drilling or anchoring a machine means it might just push itself off the surface. The machinery must survive extreme heat and cold from minus 150 degrees Celsius to plus 200 degrees Celsius. It also faces radiation, dust, and zero atmosphere. Then there's distance. Signals can take tens of minutes to reach Earth, so robots must work completely autonomously. We also need fuel-efficient propulsion to travel millions of kilometers. Even if we solve that, economics hit next. Current launch costs are thousands per kilogram, and returning metal could cost more than its value. So how far have we come? Asteroid mining isn't fiction anymore. It's happening step by step. For example, in 2005, Japan's Hayabusa became the first mission to touch an asteroid and return dust to Earth. Hayabusa 2 from JAXA collected samples from asteroid Rugu, and OSIRIS-REx of NASA collected samples from asteroid Bennu. We have successfully developed the capability to navigate to distant asteroids, land on their surfaces, and collect sample materials. The groundwork has been laid and the focus is shifting from pure exploration to practical application. Private companies like Planetary Resources and Deep Space Industries explored mining plans, showing global commercial interest even if funding proved challenging. Active missions, NASA, ESA, and startups like Astroforge are currently working on small test missions to advance the technology. The next phase involves turning this knowledge into robotic extraction systems, in-space fuel depots using extracted water, and eventually the establishment of the first spice mine. It's not science fiction anymore, but not yet reality either. Just science in progress.